Joshua Clementic, and today I will be teaching you about different kinds of rocks. W these are some questions that you might have about rocks. What is a rock? How are rocks formed? Where are rocks found? I will answer all of these questions and more in today's video. A rock is a solid material made up of one or more minerals. There are three basic types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Each kind of rock is formed in different ways and has different characteristics. I will talk about each rock and show examples. First, we will start with igneous rocks. Igneous rock is rock that forms when molten rock from below Earth's surface cools and hardens. Some examples of igneous rocks are obsidian, basalt, and granite. Here is an example of granite. Granite is a molten rock that hardens in the crust. Notice the small crystals. Next is sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is rock that forms when sand particles of rock, bits of soil, and remains of once living things harden. Sedimentary rock usually forms in low places. Some popular examples of sedimentary rocks are limestone and shale. A good example of the ways these rocks can form is how limestone forms. Limestone is formed when the remains of ocean animals are cemented together. Sedimentary rocks are classified in three main groups. Clastic, chemical, and biological. Clastic sedimentary rocks are formed from eroded fragments of existing rocks. Shale is an example of a clastic sedimentary rock. Chemical sedimentary rock is formed from chemicals that were once dissolved in water but have settled out and crystallized into rocks. An example of this is halite, also known as rock salt. Lastly, biological sedimentary rocks are composed of compressed organic matter that forms into rock. Limestone is an example of this type of rock. Last is metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rock is new rock formed when existing rocks are changed by heat, pressure, or chemicals beneath Earth's surface. One interesting fact is that igneous rock and sedimentary rock can be changed into metamorphic rock. These rocks can change when they are under great pressure. The pressure causes heat to build up and causes the rocks to change. Here are some examples of igneous and sedimentary rocks changed through heat and pressure to become metamorphic rocks. The igneous rock Granite becomes nice. The sedimentary rock shale becomes slate. And sedimentary rock limestone becomes marble. Now I will be conducting an experiment that shows the rock cycle. The crayons represent igneous rocks. Over time, the igneous rocks will erode. The erosion of igneous rocks creates sediments. 
the sediment deposits on one another from deposition. Lithification causes the sediment to compact. Through this process, sedimentary rock is created. Great pressure is now put on the sedimentary rock. This pressure creates a metamorphic rock. The metamorphic rock is then heated and melted. The metamorphic rock melts and hardens, changing the rock into an igneous rock. This completes the rock cycle. You can find rocks anywhere from the bottom of the ocean to the top of the tallest mountains and anywhere in between. Rocks are everywhere! Hello! I hope you learned a lot about igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Have a scientific day!